Hello guys, this is TV Coder here. To this video, we will teach you about ASP.NET MVC5 and uh, Web API. And today's lesson, I will teach you about how to use uh, Entity Framework uh, 6. We already connected with the ADO data model, and we already made some uh, entities and data context. You can see right there on expand your models, expand your DMX uh, model. Uh, you can see right there, you can open one by one. It's uh, using a DB set. To, this is a DB context to use your uh, controller and uh, for uh, create, read, update, delete purposes. So this is a very crucial and also this one is also crucial. Uh, we don't need to mess this uh, up yet and this is uh, you can also you to add your entity by this one but I will not recommend it uh, adding this but if you are very knowledgeable of this uh, it's up to you to add it so we can also look this uh, model uh, there is uh, entities which uh, properties properties of and its uh, properties name you can see right there using uh, set together and there is uh, some sort to connect from the items to the transaction table using a virtual eye collection uh, is already made for you this is the same one but without uh, since the user ID and item ID are a foreign key there is no such this thing you can see that this one is the same thing but there is some sort of a hash set for the transaction need to check them out oh it's the same one okay how to add your controller to connect with your uh, data context and your models from uh, entity framework so I will teach you how to do it and the controllers you need to uh, right click add controller you need to choose this one but if you want to blank to uh, add some entities by your own your manually I recommend this one if you are really master this and but but now I'm using this one and you need to choose this each one of these and need to choose this if you want to use uh, async control action check them out but I will not uh, check this uh, uh, one yet and by default it's empty you need to choose from your view shared and click the layout and the control name is up to you which one you want to name it I already made some controllers need to cancel it and need to pick this each one of these of controller need to check them out just left click and this is uh, your uh, DB context like this one is always private and add some uh, data context uh, object and need to connect to list on your uh, index page of uh, item page and the details uh, it stores ID on its parameter and the status code and this one right there if you are using action resolve you need to return a few methods and put inside the uh, 
inside this uh, parameter if you want to this is the optional one you don't have to uh, put inside of this so yeah and this is one is a HTTP request if you are uh, create your uh, data from a form to pass this one uh, if you want to use a post you need to add some attributes is a HTTP post and this validate anti-forgery token is like a Laravel CSRF token it's the same one but uh, this one is really really safe and there's a HTTP post HTTP oh the action name you can also customize your action name uh, you can see by this one let's see with the foreign key entities is this one is already made for you for uh, create red update delete if you are choosing uh, this entity framework model and also it's that DB context but before you create some controllers make sure you build your project otherwise it will not work so how to build your project just press ctrl shift and B that's what I want to talk about this otherwise it wouldn't work to connect uh, your entity framework model so after you create this controller the view is already made for you and you can see this one oh it's not one okay this one and there is a five pages and the script delete details edit and index and they are already using a CS HTML and also its custom form this is a form and the by default uh, they are using a bootstrap on its CSS if you want to pass your controller to view without passing this one you can also use view back like this and if you want to include your uh, javascript uh, file you need to make sure to add your bundle config you can add this one if you want to add javascript file you can initialize this bundle and where the file you put and this is a uh, initialization for a uh, root project this is a root sorry I explain again this is a root of this and the scripts is a folder on this one and the modernize is like this to close just this sample and for the CSS it's the same one but a different this you need to use style bundle for the javascript using a script bundle and the, by default it's a uh, place on the content folder and there is such of this uh, file inside the content folder and by default you can also uh, customize your routes and web api routes by default, uh, controller is a uh, home action index ID is optional for the web API. I only ID is optional, otherwise it doesn't. But you can also customize that. And there already had some fonts. And if you want to add some uh, entity by manually, you can also check your, uh, let's see, the uh, 
uh, connection string text there it is you can also add uh, one more entities manually by uh, adding inside these connection strings but uh, if you want to uh, not uh, really painful to do this you can also simply by uh, adding your new item and you need to choose data and this is one it's already generated for you if you want to do it uh, automatically and it to build this project and need to use control f5 start without debugging and it's already routed on the item create because i already opened the create page file so we need to edit in the example this uh, data item is a uh, margarine stock is two price is two thousand dollars just create okay it's already add in the edit four is five four thousand margarine two save it and it's already the details is working like this back to list delayed delayed that is example since we uh, not adding uh, the menu you need to add this menu but i will do that later on because uh, it took uh, longer to do this and that is the overview for uh, entity framework to connect with your controllers and the views from your db context and your models that is for today's video guys thank you guys for watching if you guys like my content, make sure you get to subscribe to my channel, put a thumbs up my videos. Don't forget to share this video if you guys like it. Don't forget to uh, turn on notification if you guys like it. And check out my Facebook page and my Twitter account. Make sure you follow like them. I will put my social media links in this video description down below. I wish you guys the next video. See you soon. Bye bye for now. Stay tuned.